Close your eyes and focus your mind on the breath. Try to stay with the breath no matter what else comes up, the noises from outside or the thoughts from inside, little pains here and there in the body. Don't let them interfere with your focus. Wherever you feel the breath in the body, you can let your attention settle right there. You've got to train the mind so it doesn't go running off all the time. Because the nature of happiness is, is if the mind is well-trained, again, happiness can be found anywhere. If the mind isn't well-trained, then no matter where you go, the happiness is not going to be lasting. You get little pleasures here and there, but then the mind turns around and destroys them. Go all over the world. There's no place where everybody is going to be happy. We say, well, if we get things a little bit more comfortable here, and the, the weather is nicer, the food is better, then everybody will be happy. Well, no, that's not the case. Things get better outside, but they find more reason not to be satisfied. So instead of looking for happiness outside, we've got to turn and look inside and realize that it's the mind's own habit of looking for happiness in the wrong way, and whatever happiness it does get, it tends to destroy. We've got to train it so it doesn't keep doing those things. So the first thing to do is keep it focused on one thing, because a lot of the problem is the mind lets itself get distracted by things. It doesn't look at them carefully. So this looks good. You just run. You don't stop to think, well, is it really good? Look at it from all sides, because we're too hungry. Anything that looks good, we just jump for it. So we've got to train the mind to have a sense of well-being inside so it's not so hungry all the time. And that way it can look more carefully at what it's going to do and what it's going to think and what it's going to say to see if those things really will be beneficial. If they're not, you can just let them go. It's not the case that everything that comes up in the mind has to be claimed as yours, so you have to follow every desire or every urge that comes in there. You want to be able to choose which ones are helpful, which ones are not. So get the mind settled in right here. When the mind is well trained right here, then whatever comes up, you'll know how to handle it skillfully. As the Buddha said, the mind is like, like water. Say so you've got bad karma coming in from the past, it's like a lump of salt. If your water is only enough to fill a little cup, you put a lump of salt in there and you can't drink it. But if the mind is like the water of the mind is like the, the river, big wide river, clean, you throw a rock lump of salt in there, you can still drink the water because they still drink the water because there's so much more water than salt. So this is your def best defense against your own past bad karma, and it's, of course it's a good defense against past present karma and past and Bad past karma, bad present karma, and bad future karma. Now, as you sit right here, training the mind. So here's your protection. Here's your source of real happiness. Try to make the most of it. <laughs>